Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and to the second episode in my business series for artists. In this episode, we are going to be going through 15 different ways that you can make money from your art. And whilst I'm talking about that, I'll be painting this beautiful Asian woman using watercolors. Now, before we start, if you are looking to improve your watercolor painting skills, then you can get a free two hour real time tutorial when you join my newsletter. And you can follow along with this tutorial and learn all of the skills that you need to paint really expressive, beautiful paintings with watercolor. So a link to that will be at the top of the description. Now let's get straight into the video. So like I said, I'm going to be going through lots of different ways that you can earn income from your art. And I'm going to be going through these quite quickly because there are 15 of them. But I am going to be focusing on a few main things when I talk about each of these revenue streams. So I'm going to be referring a lot to active and passive income. And what active income is, is a revenue stream where you have to put a lot of work in constantly to earn money. And a passive income stream is where maybe you have to put in a little bit of work at the start, but then it needs very little hard work to actually maintain that income stream. So I'll be talking a bit more about that when I go through each of these different ways to make money. And when you're thinking about which ways will work best for you, I want you to try and think of multiple in your head. You don't want to just have one way that you want to make money from your art. You want to really diversify and think of multiple revenue streams that you think will work for you. So as I go through these 15, try and think of maybe four or five that you think are suitable for you and try to include a mixture of active income revenue streams and passive income streams. So let's get straight into it. And number one is the most obvious on this list and that is selling your original art. And this is a form of active income because every time you wanna use this revenue stream, you have to put in work to earn that money. You have to create a painting or a drawing that you then sell. So this is very much an active income stream. And this will take quite a lot of time out of your, your work week and work month creating the work to sell. So this is going to be quite a time intensive revenue stream. Number two is selling prints. And this can either be active or very passive depending on how you approach it. So an active version of making prints would be if you were to make your art prints yourself, maybe you scan the artwork yourself and you print them yourself and you ship them yourself. That is very active because every time you get a sale, you have to put in work to earn that income. A passive form of creating prints would be if you was to upload the digital image to a website like Redbubble, and then whenever you get a print sale, they print it for you and they ship it for you so you don't have to worry about any of that and they deal with any refunds or customer complaints. And so that would be a very passive revenue stream. And if you do wanna sell prints, you can decide which one would work for you. The benefits of going with an active stream of making prints is that you might get a bigger profit margin because you are making them yourself. Whereas a website like Redbubble takes a commission for obviously doing all of that hard work for printing them for you and for shipping them. Prints can be a great way to really increase the income that you're earning because when you sell an original artwork, you've only got one of them to sell. Whereas prints, you can sell multiple. You could do limited print runs where you can charge a bit more or you could just sell as many as you want. And that can really bump up your income that you're earning because you can just make as many prints as you want. There's no limits. And once you've made that artwork, you can just keep selling it. So it's passive in that way. You don't have to keep making the artwork every time you sell a print. You've made that artwork and now you can just keep selling it in print form. Now moving on to method number three, and that is selling merchandise based on your artwork. So of course you can sell prints, but there's lots of other items that you can sell using your artwork. So for example, mugs, t-shirts, phone cases, pillows, practically anything you can think of, you can find a manufacturer to make that for you. 
And again, this can be very active or passive depending on how you approach it. I'm sure you can find places that will make it for you, but then they ship you the items and then you ship them out to the customers yourself. Or you can do it through places like Redbubble, like you can do with prints. There's loads of different options you can set up with them. You know, stuff like phone cases and even like canvas prints and big canvas prints, loads of different options. But I think for merchandise on Redbubble, you get even less commission and profit. So you'd have to think about what would work best for you. And depending on your art, certain options might not make sense for you. If you're doing something really realistic, it might not work necessarily on a t-shirt, it could do, but if you're doing something very expressive, then that could work really well, like abstract on a t-shirt or a hoodie, or if you were doing like characters that were very popular, but that's a whole issue with copyright, then that could be on t-shirts, but again, that depends on what you're trying to create, and if you can get the copyright license for that, or whatever you're doing. Now, moving on to method number four. This is commissions. And so commissions is a very active form of income because you constantly have to work to earn that money. You have to keep drawing for the customers so they will ask you to draw something and you have to draw it for them. So it's very active and it's very time consuming. This is why I don't really like this income stream. I find it very time intensive. I find that it puts a lot of pressure on the artist. Not, not all artists, I get pressure from it but personally I found that it really put a lot of pressure on me and stress and you have to deal with a lot of clients wanting you to tweak things and change things and so this might not be suitable for you but you might love it and you might really enjoy doing commissions bear in mind that it is very time intensive and you can't really scale that revenue stream there's only so many drawings you can do I'm taking forever on these so I'm going to try and go a bit faster Number five is selling art courses and tutorials. And this is what I love because this is such a passive form of income because you can make a course or you can make a tutorial and then you've made it and then you can just keep selling it. And because it's a digital file, you don't have to ship anything or send anything. And because it's not a physical product like a print, you get a much higher profit markup. There's practically no expenses apart from the platform that you may wanna host that on. But physical products like courses and tutorials, they are so good for passive income. And so, Point five is basically teaching and creating teaching services to teach other people how to improve their art skills. Moving on to number six, and that is Patreon. So this is a great platform for creators and it is a membership site where you get monthly income from that. It's a monthly pledge and this can completely depend on what you want to do. For Patreon, you set rewards of what you want to give your patrons in return for them pledging to you. I personally do tutorials and a lot of educational stuff, but people offer print packages and lots of other forms of rewards. It does not have to be educational at all. In fact, I think I'm probably in a minority. I feel like a lot of other people use it in a completely different way if you want it to help so fund a project that you want to do like a comic or an art book then it's great for that and it's a great way of having a very stable form of income again it is active because you'll need to fulfill those rewards every month moving on to number seven and this is getting affiliates and commissions from maybe selling art materials and promoting certain materials and supplies that you use. And this only works really if you have an audience already. And I do this on YouTube, whatever materials I'm using, I just leave links to them in the description and I will get a very small commission if someone buys that. And it's not extra money for the, the customer to pay, it's the same price, but the person that has the affiliate link just gets a small amount, normally about 4% but it really adds up if you do have a big following. So this is a great form of passive income because you just put that link in your description and then anyone that's interested in the products you're using, they can go and buy it and you get a small return for not really having to do anything extra. So this is a great, easy, passive income stream. And I think it works well for anyone that has an audience and a social media following. 
Moving on. Number eight is if you have a YouTube channel. So if you have an art channel, you'll get ad revenue. Those are ads that play before, during and after your video. So this is a great revenue stream. I don't rely on it too much, but it's a nice addition to supplement your income. But because you don't have much control over it, because if YouTube makes a change, then you don't have control over that. I try not to rely on it too much, but it's definitely a great way to supplement your other income. And it is fairly passive because once you make that video, it will then keep getting views and keep earning you money. But it's a mix of active and passive because obviously you have to keep making videos, but then once they're up, they will keep making you money. Number nine is sponsorships and working with brands. So if you watch YouTube videos a lot, you'll see that no matter what type of channel it is, a lot of people do sponsorships and brand deals. So if you have a specific art supply that you love, then you could contact the brand and see if they'll sponsor a video or if they will send you free art supplies. And it's a great way of getting your art supplies for free so you don't have to fork out any expenses for that. But also they can sponsor your videos and that really helps to supplement your income as well. Moving on to number 10, and that is to start an art blog. So this is great if you really love writing articles and the written form instead of video form. Video form is not for everyone, but starting an art blog is great because you can pro promote your other services that you have in your other revenue streams. And you can also put ads on a art blog, just like with YouTube, you can put some ads on there and you can get a bit of money that way. Moving on to number 11, and that is to create an ebook or a book, something like an art book that contains all of your art, really pretty, it's kind of like loads and loads of prints all published in a book. Or if you're an educational artist and you wanna teach people, you could do a how to draw or how to paint book, which really goes into detail on your skills. Or if you are like doing, I don't know, anime or manga or any type of, sort of cartoon comic genre. I'm sorry if I'm explaining that wrong. I don't really know the, the terminology, but you could do a comic book or something like that. So there's so many different options that you could do if you wanted to try and make an ebook and a book. Obviously, if you make a physical book, there's gonna be a lot more expenses with that. Whereas an ebook is digital, so it's just a downloaded file and therefore the person doesn't have to get it shipped to them and it keeps the cost down so that you can make more profit, which we love. Number 12 is an interesting one and that is licensing out your artwork. And this can be passive all quite active, it depends how you go about it. So what I mean by licensing out your artwork is for example, do you know if you go to places like Ikea or supermarkets or any sort of home store and they have like those like canvas prints that have artists artwork printed on them? Well, those sort of places can license that artwork from different artists and then they can print it and mass produce it into these canvases. And so you can get royalties from that whenever they make sales or they could give you a upfront fee. It depends obviously on the contract with the company, but that can be very passive. Say if you license your artwork out to a company like Ikea and then every sale, they give you a small percentage, that could really add up and that becomes very passive because once you've made the artwork, you don't have to do any extra work work to earn that money. Also, you could, for example, if you create a beautiful drawing using some supplies and then the, the brand wants to put that artwork on the front of a tin, for example, for some pencils or watercolors, and you know, sometimes they have artwork on the front of them. They obviously get that from artists and so they could license or buy the image to your artwork and license that off you so that they can put it on their product. And again, you can earn money that way. There's lots of different ways that a company can license the use of artwork from you. And that's something that's very interesting and worth looking into as well. Moving on to number 13, this one isn't as popular and that is live streaming. If you love live streaming and you wanna create some work whilst you're live streaming, then this is a great way to make money as well because for example, on Twitch, you can do subscriptions. So people, if they really like watching you live stream and they find it really entertaining, they can become a subscriber of that where it's like, I think, 
4 99 or £5 a month or something. And so if you build up a following on there, there will be some people that like to donate and create that monthly subscription. That can be a great way to source your, your artwork. So yeah, that's a great one if you love to live stream. Number 14, these last two are great if you don't have an audience yet. As I mentioned in my last video, building up an audience takes such a long time, many years, well, not, not many years, it can take a couple of years, but it could take longer. And in the meantime, you need to be earning that money still. And so you can, number 14, is teach classes on platforms like Skillshare. So you've probably seen a lot of adverts for Skillshare on why you should join and take those classes, but actually you can join to teach those classes and earn money that way. So if you have a skill, whether that's art or anything actually, they have all sorts of skills and you are really, really informed about that and you have a lot of information to give about that specific topic, then you can create a class on Skillshare and then when people watch it, you'll get royalties for that. And so this can be a very passive form of income because once you make the class and you upload it, then you don't need to do anything else. People will watch it and you'll gain royalties every month from the platform. And so this is a great way to earn some extra income just by putting in a bit of work at the start to make that class. And then it's there for people to watch and you can just keep earning money. And number 15 is to sell services on websites like Fiverr. So again, Fiverr is great because it's already a marketplace that is established and people are going to it to get freelancing services. So it doesn't matter if you don't have an audience because there's an audience there ready to, you know, use your services. So if you want to do graphic design or art commissions or anything like that, you can put your services on there and how much you want to charge and people can hire you directly from that. So that is a great way to make a little bit of extra income or, or a lot depending on how successful you become at it. And that can, that's a very active income stream because you've got to fulfill each job that people hire you for as they come in. And so that is it guys, those are 15 ways that you can make money as an artist. Let me know in the comment sections which one you think, or which ones you think would be most suitable for you and that you're more interested in looking into and learning about. Also, if you enjoyed watching this painting tutorial and you want to learn how to paint some beautiful watercolor paintings, then over on my Patreon, I've got lots of real time painting and drawing tutorials that you can get access to for just a small amount per month. I've got over 300 real time tutorials on there, not just for watercolor, but for color pencil, charcoal, and much more. In the description also is a link to a new website that I created that allows you to check out all of the tutorials I have on Patreon before you actually become a patron yourself. So check that out if you're interested in looking at the library of tutorials that I have on there. Also, if you're just interested in learning one medium or subject matter, then I have got some courses on my website that will help you learn all of the techniques that you need to master that dedicated subject matter or medium that you're interested in. So I'll leave a link to my Patreon, to my courses in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. And even tick that bell icon so you do get notified on my future videos. But that is it from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.